Imagine a civilization so advanced, so spiritually aware, that it seems almost magical to our modern sensibilities. This was Atlantis, and at its heart was the High Priesthood. A group of enlightened individuals, they held the key to the Atlantean knowledge, principles, and the ancient wisdom of Lemuria, another civilization lost in the sands of time. This sacred knowledge, combined with the guidance of the Angels of Light, held the High Priesthood to an unprecedented level of spirituality. Not much was known about the High Priests and High Priestesses. They were mysterious beings. The High Priests were very powerful, preserving ancient wisdom, living it and embodying it, having access to knowledge in a more direct way than the general population. They were the pillars of light in a time of spiritual abundance, nurturing the most spiritually aware race the planet had ever seen. In Atlantis, some ancient priestesses walked the path of Christ consciousness. Their lives were a perfect blend of the physical and spiritual realms, a harmony that seems almost impossible to achieve today. The ancient Atlantean experienced oneness in the landscape through feeling both the power and quality of life energy as it flowed from the all to the individual and back again to the all. Thus, the whole cycle of flow and oneness was recognized and acknowledged in Atlantean culture in a way that goes far beyond modern understanding. When the first elders of Atlantis incarnated, they brought with them all of their knowledge, all of their power and all of their abilities. This was necessary, for without it they could not have continued their work. The High Priesthood was the beacon of Atlantean civilization, illuminating a golden age of enlightenment and spiritual growth. Atlantis was not an isolated civilization. The High Priesthood fostered connections with star brothers and sisters, creating a melting pot of cosmic wisdom. This celestial alliance was an integral part of their spiritual heritage. The High Priesthood with its profound understanding of Atlantean and Lemurian principles, often communicated with these star beings. This dialogue transcended physical boundaries, delving deep into the realms of spirituality, wisdom, and light. Their celestial conversations were exchanges of knowledge, a symbiotic relationship that enriched the spiritual practices of the High Priesthood. The star beings imparted wisdom that was eons old, Wisdom that further elevated the spiritual consciousness of the High Priesthood. The High Priesthood didn't just live a physical life. They embraced their spiritual heritage completely, creating a unique blend of physical existence and spiritual awareness. This was a time when humanity was in tune with the cosmos, living in harmony with the earth and celestial beings. The High Priesthood was a bridge between worlds, a testament to the unity of the cosmos. The elders of Atlantis understood the ancient mysteries and universal laws. They held the highest positions in Atlantis. They understood that divine thought came from the source of all creation. But some became so confident in their own thoughts and inspirations that they began to think that they were the source of all power. As a result, some of them made decisions that bypassed the connection back to the Creator, which ultimately brought disastrous consequences to the planet. Their knowledge was said to be so elevated that they actually understood the mysteries of creating a universe. Not to sugarcoat our history, some people misused their power. Some did it unconsciously, being tricked and lurked into the fairy tale lands of power. Others misused their power consciously. Whilst ancient priestesses walked the path of Christ consciousness, at the same time, other priests and priestesses started to diverge, exploring the dark side of power. This act reverberated into the whole society. The bright era of Atlantis came to a tragic end, leading to the loss of many spiritual tools of light. This ancient civilization, once a beacon of spiritual evolution, was swallowed by the sea, its high towers and grand temples lost to the depths. When Atlantis's time of destruction came, the wise teachers who had been the torchbearers of Atlantean wisdom took their followers by ship and then overland to new locations around the world. The destruction of Atlantis was not just a physical catastrophe, but a spiritual one. This was not merely the fall of a civilization, but the descent of an enlightened era into the shadows. The knowledge was not completely lost. Well before the time of the final destruction, the great teachers of the final phase took their followers by ship to new locations such as Tibet and Egypt 
where they worked to seed the wisdom of Atlantis into new civilizations who would take the human story forward within a number of unique traditions. The fall of Atlantis marked a global downshift in frequency, plunging humanity into a dense 3D existence. The Atlantean legacy remains a potent force in human development because Atlantis is still an inspiration within the new consciousness. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the wisdom of the High Priesthood is re-emerging, sparking a new era of spiritual awakening. This resurgence is not a random event, but a destined occurrence, a cosmic alignment of energies and frequencies that have begun to vibrate in unison with our own. The reconnection to the High Priesthood and Atlantean Angels is not merely a rediscovery of ancient wisdom, but a reawakening of our spiritual consciousness. It is a call to remember and reclaim our spiritual heritage, a heritage that was once vibrant and potent, illuminating our existence and guiding our evolution. You will be able to aid yourself and others with the skills and knowledge that you hold within, assisting humanity and Mother Earth in the transition beyond a fixed dimension of light to our blueprint of multidimensional existence. The Harmonic Convergence in 1987 marked a significant turning point a shift in our collective consciousness that set the stage for the re-emergence of Atlantean wisdom. Atlanteans believed dis-ease was a manifestation of the imbalance in the energy field. The return of the violet flame and the Mahatma energies during this time signaled the beginning of a 25-year period of awakening, leading up to the year 2012. Since then, many have heard the call to awaken to love and light, and move towards bringing back balance and what is referred to as the golden age as oneness. This call to awaken has grown louder, more insistent. It is a call to love and light, to unity and harmony, to balance and peace. It is a call to oneness. In embracing this call, we are not only remembering and honoring our past, but we are also forging our future. We are creating a world that reflects the wisdom and values of the high priesthood, a world that embodies the principles of love, light, and oneness. A world that resonates with the energy and frequency of the Golden Age. We are the torchbearers of this ancient wisdom, the keepers of this sacred flame. As we embrace our spiritual heritage, we also embrace our role in this grand cosmic play. We are the dreamers and the doers, the seekers and the finders, the teachers and the students, the masters and the disciples. The legacy of the High Priesthood is a call to remember our spiritual heritage, to awaken to love and light, and to bring back balance to our world. The Golden Age is not just a memory of Atlantis, it is a vision for our future. The prime role for an Atlantean elder in today's times is to recall lost arts, lost skills and experiences. This is necessary so that the energies may become alive at the conscious level to be utilized by you now and in the future. As we journey deeper into the folds of time, we discover the ancient priestesses and priests, the sacred guardians of the Atlantean wisdom. These devoted beings were more than mere teachers. They were the embodiment of Christ consciousness, the keepers of the divine. Their purpose was not only to preserve the ancient knowledge, but to live it, to exemplify it, to radiate it in every word, thought, and action. They were the masters of the ascension process, of immortality, and of crystalline technology, both physical and spiritual. In our current age of light, many of us feel a profound connection to these ancient figures, a resonance that goes beyond mere fascination or curiosity. This is because every light worker carries within them a lineage, a spiritual heritage that spans thousands of years and is interwoven with our star lineage. The soul of an ancient priestess or priest is awakening within us, calling us to remember and reclaim our divine gifts and responsibilities. But this awakening is not without its challenges. As we begin to tap into our ancient wisdom, we may find ourselves confronted with old wounds and traumas, tests of our integrity and commitment. The sacred knowledge we seek is protected by many spiritual firewalls, designed to ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. Our task is to heal ourselves, to clear our energy field of any distortions or imbalances so that we can fully embody and express our divine potential. The ancient priestesses and priests of Atlantis are not relics of the past, but torchbearers for our future. They remind us of our inherent sovereignty and divinity, 
and they inspire us to live our highest purpose and share the sacred mysteries of the universe with others. As we awaken to our ancient priesthood, we become co-creators of the planetary evolutionary leap that is currently underway. We are not just remembering our past, we are shaping our future. The golden age of Atlantis is not a distant memory, but a vision that is being reborn in our hearts and minds. A vision that we are bringing to life through our love, light, and oneness. As we continue to awaken to our ancient priesthood, we find ourselves drawn into the grand cosmic story of Ascension. Just as the ancient priests and priestesses of Atlantis played a crucial role in the evolution of consciousness, so too do we, as lightworkers, have a vital part to play in the unfolding saga of the universe. We are not mere observers of this cosmic drama, but active participants, co-creators of the new Earth. Our role is to anchor the higher frequencies of light and love into the physical plane, to transmute the old paradigms of fear and separation, and to usher in a new era of unity consciousness. But this is not a task we undertake alone. We are supported by a vast network of light beings, ascended masters and star families who guide us, inspire us and shower us with infinite blessings. They remind us that we are not separate, but one with all of life, one with the cosmos. They remind us that our true power lies not in our individuality, but in our unity, our oneness. As we align with our divine purpose and embody the wisdom of the ancient priesthood, we become channels for the divine conduits for the light of source. And as we shine our light, we ignite the light in others, creating a ripple effect that spans the entire planet. This is the power of the light worker. This is the power of the awakened priestess and priest. This is the power of oneness. The golden age of Atlantis is not just a distant memory, but a living reality that we are co-creating together, moment by moment, through our love, light, and unity. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Let us continue this journey of awakening together as we remember our ancient heritage, reclaim our divine gifts, and co-create a new era of love, light, and oneness.